Good afternoon, it's Rachel here. I hope you're having a great Sunday. I'm just going to move my light. It seems to be in my way. Um, and we are going to do a, a crafty video. But first, um, I just want to say mum has prepared some packs. Now, this is not the full pack because I just took these quickly from Australia from her stash um, when I came back from Australia. And uh, Mum has put these bundles together with some of her favourite fabrics, but she's got a lot of fabric, so she's going to de-stash a little bit. Um, and she's made these packs. There's 15 fabrics. There's going to be cal a calico, hemp, and then these beautiful vintage and antique piece of um, ticking, and these beautiful antique and vintage Japanese fabrics that she's been collecting for years. That's beautiful, that one. Um, so this is just like a little sampling, but there's there's about 15 fabrics um, and there's a lot of um, all different size pieces and she's going to put in a little surprise, something like that as well. Um, so I'm going to make something with this. Um, probably, I'll probably do it sometime this week. Um, now, the way to get mum's thing is not to contact her because she, she you know, she's... Um, she doesn't cope well with that sort of thing. I'm going to do it for her. So I'll put, um, I'm going to put it up on my, uh, the, some photographs of the bundles that mum actually made. They're, they're very limited because it took her a long time and she'll only do a small amount at a time because the post office is a bit of an experience for her as well. Um, so they'll be on my Instagram and I'll link it below. I'll po put a post up and then, um, you can private message me on Instagram and it will be first in, first served. I'll try my best to do it in order and you can just contact me for the details and the shipping and everything and and then we'll just take it from there and then I'll give you mum's PayPal um, address. I think that's the best way to do it or would it be better? It might be easier if you email me. Um, you know what? I'm going to change that. Don't DM me on Instagram message i'm going to give you my email um i'll put it in the description box down below and i'll put it in my posting on instagram with the photographs and i'll add the photographs at the end of this video um so um yep that's what i'll do um they're very very limited supply i think she only made 10 so um yeah you have to email me don't dm me on instagram but email me to my email um if you would like one or two um and and that way i'll do first in first served that's what i'll do okay so let's get on and get crafting I'm, i'll do this um another day i'm a bit tired today because our friend stayed last night and so we had a bit of a later light night than we're not we're used to and um also um what did i want to say um i slept in lulu's room and he slept in our bed and poor steffi slept down on the couch Okay, so I don't know. I need to do all manner of things. What I'm really missing, let's have a look at my, I just want to show you how I've rearranged my things. So normally I keep my, um, I had one of these boxes for my uh, ephemera and like, you know, tags and journal cards and sort of bits and pieces that I put in the journals when I've made the pockets. And then I had another one with my pockets and I had like handwritten sort of dividers. So um, instead of that, and I had this in the Ikea box with the compartments and I had my, um, to complete things in the Ikea thing and it was good. However, what I found was uh, as I make more stuff, I was getting, um, these were exploding and I couldn't find things and I was just chucking them in. So in here I've got, I've, what I've done is put my pa things that I stitch in as pages, like, you know, the envelope ones we did and that sort of thing. Um, so I put those in there because I think that's better because I don't, don't always have a huge supply of those. And, and then what I did was I put my to-do in, in the other wood box and then I, I'm using these for my, so this is my pocket one. Um, and it's kind of sad at the moment. It doesn't look sad, but it actually is quite sad. Like they're my only diagonal triangle ones. They're flippy triangle ones, which I haven't made for a while. Um, they're flippy. That's just a flippy thing. Uh, <laughs> it's a bit of a flip. See, these are book page. We made these a long time ago. These are book page ones that um, flip out. Um, and then I've got... Um, 
what are they called? Library card. I've got plenty of those. Uh, I need some more. I've got one of those, I think, with the pocket. So I'm getting, a, I, I sort of get a bit messy with how I put things too. So that's one with a window. And that was a bit of a chore. I don't know. What, that was something I made years ago. Never used it. I'll probably put it on a journal or something. That's the ones I made those years ago too with the side tuck sort of thing. Um, this was a good one. We did this in the 100 day project. I've only got two of those left. Oh, that one's even got a journal card in. How clever is that? Um, and what, well, excuse me, while I toot my horn. And then I like these ones. I might make some more of these. I've only got one and I need to have a sample as well to put in my book. I've got lots of these lovely envelopes that I couldn't find them and then I've rediscovered them. And they're kind of like journaling cards. They probably should go in the journal card section, actually. I might take those ones out because I kind of put them in the envelope section. But these are sort of more things I'm going to tuck in a pocket. They're not going to become a pocket. So let's just grab those and we'll put those in the other one. So they go in the other one. But these are more like, these are these are envelopes and these were, oh, that's an, actually it looks like an envelope, but that's a journaling spot. And then it glues down as a side tuck as well or, a, yeah. As that one would be a side tuck. This is an actual envelope, this one. That would just tuck in somewhere. But I'll keep those ones there. These ones are incomplete envelopes. Now, what are these? They're all envelopes. That's a book page. Oh, that's another one of those. That can go. Those ones can go. Those ones can stay here, but those ones can go. They're going to tuck in a pocket, so those ones can go in the other spot. Oh, these are my faux front envelopes that I made um, with Gail's uh, thing, with Ga was Gail's tutorial. So I think I'll keep those in there. That little one can go in the front. Um, that's an old fishy one that I made many moons ago that I'll never put anywhere. And that's a big floral book page one. Oh, now this is an envelope. This is an old envelope that I, ha I love that old Italian lady there that I had to embellish. That just needs to pin somewhere. You couldn't stick that down. Look at the seal on it. So, um, and then that's just something I made years ago in a 100-day project. Now, what was this one? That's a nice thing. When did we make that? Who remembers? It's a while ago. Oh, isn't that lovely? Oh, hello. That's a nice little notebook. How cute is that? Don't remember making that, but anyway. Um, there's another faux front. Now, this one. This was a... Oh, this is one. Oh, okay. This was an envelope I made um, with a book uh, with a printout. And then I did it a bit like what, um, I like those. I might like to make some more of those. That's a bit inspired by Shabby Dabby Doodah. And there's one other Shabby Dabby Doodah one. Um, probably did that the same day. And there's another one. I need to make some more of those too. Well, I could do one with that. And then, yep, yeah, that's that. And then over here, what do I have? I've just got random things over here. I've got, oh, there's, that's what I need. I need to make more of these. I don't have enough of those. They're always good pockets to tuck. And I've only got two there. And what was this one? See what I mean about not... That's another of that type. I like those. I want to do some more of those. Um, that's the envelope one. I need to do more of those. I have to pull out the examples. Or I can't remember. That's another one of those. Okay, we've got one example out already. And then these are these special um, June, Juni Dizzery JDs. These are her... They're tricky, those ones. They're the tricky pockets. Um, oh, I've got a few of those. Okay, I do have... Oh, well, I had that one in the wrong spot. That needs to go over here. This is what I mean. I get confused. They're my... Okay, that's those. And then here I've got... Oh, rectangle pockets. There. Some of them I will never use. And then here are these sort of... I love these belly bands. I need to make more of those. I've only got two. Um, and then there... Oh, they're flippy envelopey things, side tucks. I mean, I need to make more of mini things. They're, they're all um, side tucky sort of things. I've got a few of those, so they're all right. And that one's very thick. I'm wondering if I might... Um, oh, no, it opens. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's the side tuck one. Sorry, I just made those with you guys. That was the side tuck ones that we just did. And then what do I have over here? I've got some stuff lying around over here. Not those. Oh, not that. Oh, these are my um, one Steffi's envelopes. So they need to go in the envelope section. That's why they're, they're flying around. They need to go in my envelope department over here. I'll put those in there. And put that over there. And then that's a window one. I just did that randomly. I need to do more of those. Okay, and then over here, we have... 
look, I've only got one of those. Remember we did those? Those were really fun. Um, just so a few little clustery things. I don't have any of those. And then these are good with the... These are like Wendy's ones. Um, they're the envelope ones that flip out like that. I need to do a few more of those. Oh, and I don't have any of these. I've only got one. And that should be over there with Junie's other tricky one. And then these are the ones I did the other day. Oh, well, so that one shouldn't be there. You see, this is how what I mean. I just get... Oh, no, that one. Where's the other one? This one. That I cut them open. They can all go in there. Um, any more? Are there any more? Yes, there are. That one. They can all go there. So I've got a few of those now. Here's another one. I cut that one open as well. Because they were too thick. I really did find they were too thick. So um, I changed their destination. So that's those. And then here I've got these little things, like the little Patricia wallets that can stick down on a pair. I like those. I've got quite a few of those at the moment, so I don't need any more. Um, and then I've done some with cardstock. And then this was, oh, there's some some decorated bags. I probably need to do a few more of those. But And then these are the the um, jeweler bags that I did inspired by, oh, no, that's an old one. Um, where are they? Here. No, that's old. Do I not have any of those left? This is one. But that had a short thing. So we need to do some more of those as well. Okay, so that's how I've organised. But you can see, if you're going to fill a few journals, I don't have nearly enough stuff here. This is not nearly enough. It would do one, one journal, and I would have stuff left over, but it wouldn't, it wouldn't be enough for more than one, more than one, or two, maybe two. We could stretch to two, but then of course I've only got samples of one, one of things, and so then I become precious, and I don't want to. Um, use them so I think we might do a couple of these let's do a couple of I'm going to keep these out these might be a few days video and then these will go over into the tag department let's go over here I'll show you is that funny we have departments okay so in here I have to find a spot for these now this looks like exploding it's exploding but quite it here there's quite a bit of um, sort of hoardy stuff in the sense I don't have well, here I actually found I have multiples of these. So these can go places. Um, and then there's a few of the newer things that I've done. I just want to make a few more examples of them before I put them in journals. So the, some of these yummy ones that we did with the um, Real Ephemera. And then that's, that's something. I don't know what I thought I was going to do. That's hinged. I love that idea too. That's a bit haughty, that one. Um... I thought that could tuck into a pocket, really. Or, no, it could actually glue down. So that should go in the pocket department. But I need to make more. And then this. We haven't done many of these. These we did recently. Then I've, These are my tags. I don't have... That, I mean, that looks like a lot of tags, but that's not really that many. Um, and then I've got these are my latest journal cards. I've got a few journal cards. And then these are these ones are really like journal cards, and so they can go in there as well. But they've got pockets. These are journal cards with pockets. We'll put those at the front. I've got a few bits of folded paper in here. I've got a few flippy tags. I was trying to sort of separate things a little bit. Oh look, they're the ones with pockets. They should probably go there. They're all the pockety sort of things go over here. We'll put those. We'll put them at the front. So I remember. And then these are little fun, like the little matchbook. Oh, isn't that cute? I forgot about Oh, how cool is that? Oh, see, that's haughty. I have, until I make another one, I can't give that away. I'll never make it again. I have lots of these. These are going in the little journals. And then these are sort of like writing space. <coughs> Excuse me while I choke. Envelopes. Oh, and that's another thing that needs to be done. So we have to plenty to do. Plenty, plenty, plenty to revisit because we've forgotten about it. Now, right, put that over there in the tag department that's the tag department we'll come back over here to the creating department actually while i'm up i'll grab a glue how about that just in case you know it's nearly at the end okay so um i need some old book page which is not hard to find and this is rag paper i'm going to use my rag paper one and what i'm going to do is grab my chopper chopper just chop off. I don't want the lumpy bit with the glue. So 
so I had to take that off. Even though it's lovely and raggedy, it is gluey, so I don't want to um, have that. And we'll do a few. We'll do a few different ones. Um, let's see what else is flying around. So my base is book page, which is fairly frequent in my world. This is, this is a different one, but it's still always rag paper. Let's just give it a tear. I think that's double. I know it's single. We have to take the glue off. It's just going to get in our way. And then I'll need to put one into... Oh, have I already put one in my sample book? I might have. But I still like to have... You know, before I go and put it in a journal, I still like to have a few in, in my um, pocket, pocket box before I'll use it. That's really raggy paper. This is raggedy rag paper, and that's just rag paper. <laughs> in the sense that um, that one is got the raggedy edges. This one a bit less, but I'll just chop that bit off because we can still use it. Okay, and I can't even remember how I did them, but I'll figure it out. Right, so that's that. Put that on the ground. And we'll start doing our folding. Now, what I did, if I remember correctly, was I folded them like this. And sometimes, some of them I did do a little fold in like that to make it a bit of a looser sort of pocket. But I could actually fold that over a bit further that way and just have a little... And then that's my hinge there, like so. And then I didn't decorate the back because that can glue down on the page. And oh, then I did put a pocket on these ones, so... That's, some of them I made pockets and some of them I made, um, this one I'm going to make a pocket. This one I didn't, I just glued it all down and then and then um, added a pocket. So I want to do both types. So this one, where's my glue? We're going to glue like this here and there. Is that correct? Yes, and then just fold it over and glue it. Okay, and I'll put my little snippy so I know that is a pocket. Okay, instead the other type, the other way I did them was I took this and I actually just took my glue stick and glued it and we were embracing the book page so we weren't covering up the whole book page because we were embracing it You don't need measurements, it just depends. You can just eyeball it and um, it depends on your size of your book page and that folds. So that's that's going to get a pocket on it. We'll do that in a minute. And then we'll do another one. Let's do there. It's very strong paper, very strong indeed. So we'll glue that one down and then we'll do another pocket one like the other one. So two and two. Really, it's something that you could mass make would be good. Doing a bit of a mass make would be great because um, that way um, you just got them there ready to go and you could put them in your to-do box, just all glued and hinged and ready to go. We'll put, that one's going to actually be... So let's do this bit first before we do that. Fold that and then there. So how is everyone today? Hope you're having a good weekend. So 
so going back to mum's packs they're not they're going to be the same as what i've got she's done two different ones i don't know i think i've got photographs of two so it'll just be random which one you get but they're really lovely mum has some beautiful fabrics that she's been collecting for years and she's just um you know she's she has a huge collection and does need to she's under orders to de-stash a little bit Okay, so that's good. Right, so this one, you could also put a pocket on this one, actually, if you wanted to, if you wanted to have multiple pockets. But remember, the, <laughs> Lily came in and sat with me yesterday. I was working a little bit on a journal. And she said, can I sit with your mum? And I said, sure. And she was having a giggle because I was... Um, um, I was, um, you know, trying pulling things out to put in pockets and and I was saying oh my gosh I put so many pockets in here and um, I just saw this lovely paper this is going to be good um and I put some and she, I said you know what Lily the thing about pocket, putting so many pockets is in you have to fill them you got to find things to put in them and that can be quite a big job but you know I like putting the pockets in so I always find myself doing it no matter doesn't matter that I have to fill them. I still like to do it. Oh, I didn't measure. I think I put the, I like the colours on this one. So I didn't measure it. Let's just tear off a tiny bit more if I can. And it's just copy paper. That's why I just folded down the top. So that just strengthen, strengthens it because that's a pressure point when you're um, you know, sliding something in a pocket. But it should be fine just as copy paper. And I, I like that because it doesn't, um, you know, bulks up a little bit less. Like before, when I first started making all these things, I was, put, I mean, if you go back and watch one of my, my earlier videos, I was determined I wasn't going to be using cardstock. And I was layering up the vintage book pages thinking I had to create the cardstock effect and then I stopped doing it I was just like you don't need to have it that thick I mean that this is really thick because it's rag paper but you don't need it to be that really don't need it to be that thick now let's do this one and oh I know what I could use I've got my elements kit here and I'm thinking if I just tear across here I leave the top so that way I can fold it down, tear off the bottom, tear off the rest. And I'm thinking this is going to be good. It's going to fit. My husband is working on a digi that I think you guys are. He's got multiple digis going at the moment. So there's one digi that I need to go and have a look at to put it into completion, I think. Um... But he's done the base of it. And I better get off my you-know-what and do that. And then he's working on this other one that I think is going to be super exciting. Now, I've done that. It's very crooked. I didn't tear straight. So we'll have to snip. And I'm going to glue that on there and create an Italian-style pocket. Don't you love the birds? They're so happy. They just are really, really happy. And there's no drilling today because it's Sunday. Woohoo! Who knows what tomorrow will bring? I wonder if it'll be one of those weeks where they don't show up, like at our place, because <laughs> they've got too much work on. Okay, so that's that one. And that one. Okay, what's next? We need to do our flip. So these ones are going to have... A flip. This has got a flip pocket. That's what we're going to do. So we need to grab some paper. Not that one. We'll keep that one near because we can do something like that. And I've been, I have been putting everything away, haven't I? So that's a bit of a thing, isn't it? Because now I have to go and find them. So that, those go in there for the moment. So put those in there. And remember what was in that one but here is nothing that I want to use so I need to turn around and go to the cupboard that's just behind me 
this is what I want. Yes. I think this is it's working for me at the moment. Isn't that funny? One time you think, oh no, putting clips on them like this here. Sometimes I think this works better for me. Sometimes I think this works better for me. I guess it depends how I'm feeling. And I am loving the, um, those are horizontal, so I don't think I want one of those. Now that gentleman could be very nice. They're the bigger strips of wallpaper. This paper's lovely. With the letter behind. I also have these. These are good. Okay. Pull out a few options. And put that. I'll just leave it there. Okay. Oh, deliriously tired. But like not not like go go to sleep sort of tired. But just just tired. Just yeah. It's just one of those. It might be the weather too. We had a bit of a a cool change which I am not going to complain about because I love I love that when that happens it doesn't happen often here and once it's hot it's hot um, but normally we've had quite a hot May we don't normally May's normally very up and down and not too hot now that's very bad very bad indeed um, but we've it's actually been consistently hot and building up for you know quite a few weeks now you would have heard me complaining and uh, but then yesterday we had a cool challenge so it's quite cool today it's really nice i'm just enjoying it now i need to fold this over and that's going to be my pocket isn't that pretty oh we're going to have that that way that's all right i could i see i could put it on this one but i wanted to go a bit more italian with that one so i'm going to put it on this one It'd be nice if you could see the bird on the outside, but we can't. So that's going to glue in there. So what I need to do is put some glue on here. Try and avoid sticky medical paper, medical book paper, I should say. And that needs to glue on here. Now, did I get enough glue everywhere? And I probably should have, what I should have done is I put my glue on there, but I obviously didn't go right here because I didn't want that to be all sticky. So what I should have done is run some glue along my edge there. You see, there's no glue. So I just come in now and do it this way. Just to make sure it sticks. I don't want it curling up. Okay. And then it's easy. Once you've glued that down, now, another fun thing that I'm thinking you could do, it, you could actually have this as a journal spot flip out. That could be really cool. Hmm. We'll do that with the next one. This is going to be a pop. No, I won't do it with this the next one because I want to make these. I need to make these and have them in my ready-to-go box. So then you just put your glue on the flappy bit there and you've created your pocket. I mean, the possibilities are endless. It's just that I forget. I can think of all these possibilities now with this little project. And I don't care that it's longer than that. If I were going to stick this down um, as a, a pocket, you know, when I stick this down on a journal page, um, I'm obviously going to have to make sure I stick it down on this side of the, you know, when the book opens like that. I'm going to stick it down on this side because I don't, I don't necessarily want that sticking out unless it's on a shorter page, if you know what I mean. There, but that's really cute. And then we'll, because it's a pocket, we just put a little snip here so that we know, because otherwise you're guessing. Sometimes you can't tell. Put that there. And here I feel like it could have a little something else. I love that. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna cover all of that up. I like that. What did I do on my original one? I didn't cover it up. Now, let's just run our finger along there. And I don't want to put anything in there, but I'm thinking I could put a little bit of something here. And of course, we're going to go to Amity's Lovely because this really goes with this type of thing. 
I'm just going to put a little bit of washi there. Love that to decorate it. And I think that's all I'm going to do on it. So then how is this going to work in a journal? Let's just grab... Um, I'll just grab a random piece of... Here we go. Here's a piece of... I use this for the backs of... Um, well, I even sometimes put them in journals as pages. They're vintage. As long as it's not cracking along there. So just say this is my journal page. This is only... It's only small. But I would put this... So you could glue it down here. You could put a notch there and put a tag in there. But we've also got a pocket here. So I would just glue it here on the page like that and that's how it would be attached and I quite like these well I wouldn't actually put this one on book page but sometimes I like these types of pockets if I didn't make it with book page I like them to go on the these lovely book pages if you know what I mean the ones that I don't want to cover the whole thing up but I would put that there like that I don't think I'd bother making a third pocket I don't I mean how many pockets can, do you need sort of thing okay so that's that one and then we've got this one to finish off. So I was going to do it a little bit more Italian themed, I thought. So I could have this one. That one won't show. Let me see what our imagery. Did I pull out any others? Oh, I didn't pull out any others. Let's go back in here. Back to the box. Maybe this one or that one could be good. Oh, no. What about this one? This one here. This is going to be pretty. So I'm going to tear off the bottom. Try and go straight. Lovely cool breeze coming in, which I love. Now I'll try with mum's packs, I'll try not to do boo-boos like I did the last time. I did a few boo-boos, a few boo-boos did happen. Um, <laughs> but it doesn't actually, if I do double up it, um, mum can always make another one. She won't be happy with me, but she can always make another one. She'll feel the pressure. Yeah, but please don't contact her because she gets, she'll get anxiety. I'm, I'm going to manage it for her. Um, so yeah, email in the description box. Oh, I've got my um, iPad flashing up notifications. Leslie's done a video. I'll be watching that. I just watched her. I watched her Monday. I've watched the Friday. I think I watched Happy Saturday. <laughs> I've watched Happy Friday. And I've just watched Happy Monday. And now I'm going to watch Happy, Happy Sunday. It is a Happy Sunday. I'm going to put that there. And then I need to just put my, I'm just going to put my crease in. This is how I eyeball. I'm going to make this one the size, you know, I don't, I'm not overhanging my, my thing. And so like that. And then I'm just going to give it a tear. Okay. I said, okay, a bit like Italians do. Okay. And I'm going to glue that there. So I always glue it down on the underside, whatever the underside is going to be. So I'll put, I'll show you what I was supposed to do on the other one. I'm just going to put a bit of edge, a glue along the edge here. And then I need to go, is it this one? I think so. Yes. I need to go along this edge with the wet glue. Just to make sure I don't have curly whirly bits. So... I can put that in there and I can eyeball about how straight it is or not. Glue that down on the inside and then that. Like so, it's not very straight. There we go. And we just then run our glue on the flappy bit. Remember that. So then, because that way you know where to put your glue. Because if you go down here, it's not coming right flush to the edge. So you don't want to put glue beyond where the paper is. This paper is the, the flappy paper. And you can see they don't take that long to make. Really nice. And you can, so how I would streamline it is I would do all my folding and gluing um, first of the, the base, this base. And then I would, if I'm adding pockets here, I'd do that. 
and then I add my flap afterwards. It's cool, it's a bit sticky. Got a bit of excess glue happening, but I love that. And I think that this one could have a little Italian label on it if I can find some. Mm -hmm. That will be interesting, finding them. Because um, I put things away. I think they might be in the doily one. Let me have a look. No, they're not. Are they? Not in the doily one. Oh, I've got these lovely things too to use. Oh, I need to use those. I haven't used those for such a long time. I've been missing them. They must be here somewhere. Maybe, oh, I know. They're in the clipped fussy cuts. Here's the clipped fussy cuts here. I bet they're in here. Don't tell me they're not. Good one, Rachel. You've lost them. How could you lose them? I've been using them. Maybe I don't have any left. Um, what's happening here? Oh, I found the when I when I started doing this. This was the original one. I wanted to show you one with a printable. You know, when we were doing the document things, and I found it. I couldn't find it before. I can't find my labels. Okay, well, I'm going to add a label there, but I can't do it in this video because I don't know where they are. They are lost. Any little scrappy ones here? I don't even know where my ephemera folder is that I, that I had my labels on. Oh. That's not... could stick that little that could be nice in there but anyway no I'll wait till I can find my labels so there that's a cute little pocket okay that's that one where's the other one here there and oh let, let's have a look at this this was so I had glued that down I didn't do the folding and but I took some of my scanned this not this one but this was, was it this one I think I have that in the ephemera kit, but I also used it in a collage page. And I just crinkled it up and glued it down, and I really love that. I thought that was really cool. And that just slides off. It's permanent, and it just slides off. Um, and then I had just folded up one of my scanned letters as for a journal spot. So I need to make some more of those, too. They're good things to have. And I just crimp crumpled it a little bit as well, just to make it look a little bit... Um, older and I didn't do any special tucking but I think we might visit this idea as well okay just slide that back on okay so we've got these two to do now so these have this pocket here um Oh, just put my uh, my sleeve in the glue. I've got two vellum. No, I don't want to use those. Um, so you, I probably would just decorate that a little bit and put, or you can put a pocket, or you could put something like that, and it becomes like a flip out journaling spot. Is what you could do. You've got this one as well. Or what about? Just let me tear this. Probably crooked. Mm, not too bad. So I'm thinking this one, I wonder what would happen. So if I were to glue that on there, and then I could glue it there and have a narrow pocket, put something narrow in there, would that be really annoying? Or I could that there and no I don't think I want to do that right love this I think I might put that there maybe just tear it want my labels <laughs> where have they gone 
Where are you labels? I don't know where they are. I don't know where my label folder is. I know nothing. It's not good. What about if I pick up this and just remove it from my table? How about that? Fold it over and take it off the table. Take that one off the table. Ooh, off the table. Please don't all fall on the ground and see if over here in this little pile of things, and it's only a little pile of things, if I can find them, because I was using them quite a bit. But no, they're not here. See, I don't want to cover up all of the page. I found one label, but not the one that I want. But I've got the sheets all printed out. And for the life of me, I can't find them. Now, if I were a clever person, I would have put them with the birds or in the other birds and flowers, I should say, but I did not. Just checking I'm recording. No, they're not there. They are not. Where have they gone? Where have they gone? Where have you gone, labels? Please come back to me. Please reveal yourself. This is just ridiculous. It's like they're a whole sheet of them. A whole sheet. This is my sorting out pile. That's, they're not there. This is my, oh, here they are. I found them. This is my other sorting out pile, using up pile, really. Here they are. Oh, thank goodness for that, because I really thought I was like a lunatic, going mad. I want this size, I think. Oh, that's the worst cutting ever. I want to put it there and have just that. Yep, that's it. Bit of an Italian feel to it. And then we'll put a something flippy on there. But let's do this one first. And let me just see this. I'm feeling a bit hungry. We didn't really have any lunch today. It must be nearly, th must be three, it must be after three. 
We didn't really have any lunch today because we had a croissant late because our friend wanted to go out and get croissants. So we thought, oh, we won't have lunch, but now I'm feeling hungry. I know this is um, just sort of plain copy paper, but I'm just wondering if, if I might like it. I don't know. I might not. I do have my little painted bits here to add a bit of fun if they work. I don't want to cover up all of my... Oh, these are all a bit big. Oh, that's lovely. But I don't want to cover it all up, do I? But I do, I like it. So I think I'm going to tear it. I'll just keep a little strip of it. That's all I've got left of those. I need to do more. I'm just going to put that there. And we don't want this sticky paper. that down there no I want it more over here I think I don't like things all in a like in a line that there and now we can put a pretty sort of tag on them or flippy something so I want something I think I want something the full height that one on there it's perfect so let's get some glue on here and I think I'm just going to fold that over and I'm not actually going to make it a tuck I'm just going to make it like a little flippy spot so like I feel like if you had a, um, I don't think I've got it here. Oh, my friend came to see me, the, the hornety sort of bee. It's so loud. It's like a, um, it's like a motorino buzzing in the distance. That's how, how loud it is. There are some wasp nests out there. I see them. But that one doesn't look like, it's not the type that goes in those anyway, I don't know. It's, it's here to torment me. So that's going to go there. I like that. I'm going to snip the corners because I like that. So it's like a little gentle spot, but I might decorate the front. So that side I'll just leave because with a dark pen you can write on there. And then what would I put on it? Well, maybe I'll just leave it. You know, what would look nice is this one, I feel. We'll check. We'll see. I'm just going to take that top bit off, I think. Yeah, I think I'll put that there. And that is done. And it can be further embellished, you know, just leaving it with options. Okay, so that's going to be like that. Cute. Put that one there and now this one. I do have a bit of collage board here. I could, that's my pencil, trim. Let's 
let's see what happens. Trim there and there. Of course, I dumped everything on top of this and it was a bit hard to get it. I can't trim that way first. I'll have to go this way. liking these colours the most with what I've done. Glue that on there. Yep. And run my glue along here. I was trying to figure it out. I actually quite even quite like that and then on this side we're just going to snip this what do I have going on here no I don't think I want do I want any of that the problem with this washi tape is it I might want that one or that one and then I have to peel them all off I would like that one To get to it. I'll just stick that one back on. Okay. And do I want to put that there? I, I think I might like it up there. Put that there. And then... I'm going to put some sort of bird on there. Hopefully I find one out of the one, I like that one, out of the ones I've already cut. Oh, that's pretty. It's very, um, it's very, um, blending in but I like it maybe it blends too much mm, I think I like that one okay change my mind I can find oh here it is I can find it I can I can I can I'm going to put a little Tracy label on there it'll be red So someone asked um, which were my favourite, I think it was you Millie, which was my favourite, um, which were my favourite Tracy labels. I don't really, I don't really know because, um, I think I'm going to put both, because I, um, you know, just have them all printed out. I don't know which ones they are because they're all cut up in here and everything. However, I do think probably one of my favourite 
my favourites are she's got mixed sheets with all different like with all these different sized ones I think they're my favourites I would say more so than um, just the ones that have all the definitions although I like those ones as well but I think my favourites are the ones with the variety of tags in the of labels in them I hope that helps Millie um, yeah I think they're my favourites that get all these mixed and they're all mixed colours as well so there we go so I like that one I didn't put anything on here I'm just wondering about that well, maybe I should put that there. I think I'll leave it. I think which whoever, whatever journal it goes in, whoever um, gets it can decide themselves. I mean, you could just stick a photograph there; would be really cool. A tra you know, like if you're traveling and it's a going, you know, it's a travel journal. You could stick a photograph. So just recapping, these ones have pockets at the top here, and that's it. You could add a pocket here if you wanted to, um, and they just flip ready to receive some writing or um, this one or a photo and the same here you could put some writing paper or gesso and then write there um, and then I've lost my other ones here they are these ones are different these ones I, I glued down the paper and then I put a pocket there and then fold it over and I've got a pocket here and not that one and the same with this one so there we go two different styles so that's my little video today just to recap and redo these ones because I ran out. So I hope you enjoyed that and have a great weekend and I will see you again soon. And don't forget to all the details for mums to where to email me um, will be in the description box below. Thank you for watching. Bye.